Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create the functionality so we can actually throw the grenade, because now we cannot do that. So yeah, let's get started. First we want to go to the link in the description, and you want to download this grenade folder, okay? That has this throw animation that I have created. Okay, after that you want to go to your project, to the animations, and you want to import the grenade folder. Okay, you want to select the skeleton, the arm, eski mannequin arm skeleton, like this. Okay, let's open the animation, let's see that it works. Yes, it does. Okay, now we want to create an anim montage from this. So, throw one montage, it can be like that. Uh, what we want to do next is... We want to open the throw one montage and we want to go to the frame uh, let's see where you like frame oh this is lagging so much today so to the frame three around 0.1 seconds we want to add a montage notify okay and let's call this First, check. Okay. Now we want to go to the, I would say, frame 15. And we want to add another montage notify. And we want to call this hold. Okay. Now let's go to the frame 50. 51, something like that. 51, okay, something like that. And let's add yet another one. Montage notify. And let's click on that and let's call it on. Like that. Okay, now let's save. Let's close this. And what we want to do now, we want to actually go to our grenade. So to the blueprints, uh, projectiles, Grenade, let's open it. Okay. And here on the grenade, what we want to do, we have this, actually, we have already created this impulse here. Okay, that's good. So, um, is everything else looking correct here? Yes, it actually is. So we don't actually have to do anything here. We have the impulse variable. You want to double check that it is set to instance editable and expose on spawn like this. Okay, then we can close this. And we can go to the BB first person character. Let's open it. And we can close everything else than the event graph and also the viewport. Let's leave that open. And now we want to find some empty space, so let's go for example to here. Now let's go to the edit, project settings, and let's go to the input under the engine. And let's add a new action mapping. Let's call this like pro little or something like that. And I will map it to we. Okay, you can map it to whatever you want. Let's close this and now let's right click and search for lethal, pro lethal, like this. Now, what we want to do, we want to promote this key to a variable on the pressed. And let's call this pro lethal key. Okay, now we want to add a branch and we want to check if we are reloading or changing and not boolean. So if we are not reloading or changing, then what we want to do, we want to set the is reloading changing to true on the true here, like this. And after that, what we want to do, we want to on ADS, And after that, we want to get our 
hence mesh and we want to play montage like this uh, next we want to get our where is it Oh, I think it's here on the weapon stats. Um, weapon data lower montage. We want to get this and play it here. Let's play it by 1.5 play rate. So it goes, the weapon goes away a little bit faster. After that, what we want to do on the on blend out, we want to create a new variable. It should be type float. Let's call this row montage position, something like that. Now we want to set it to blend out. We want to set it to 1.15. Okay, because I will show you quickly here on the Crow, uh, grenade, crow, 1.1, 1.15, one one so we want our animation to start from here, uh, when we are, when we only click the crow button, so it starts from here, okay, I will actually leave this open if I have to show you something else. So because now, if we, when we click the throw little key, we will check that if we are not reloading or changing, then we will set it to true. We will un ADS and lower the weapon and set the throw montage to this, so to the starting position. And now what we have to do, we want to get our weapon mesh and we want to set Visibility, we want to set it to false, so we cannot see our weapon anymore. After that, we want to get our hand smash again, and we want to play montage. And from the montage to play, we want to, let's just select the throw montage, throw one montage. Later on we will add some more things to here so we can change the montage by the item that we are throwing. But yeah, for now it will work like this. Okay. After that, what we want to do? We want to add a wrench on the on notify begin. Because we want to check if our notify name is equal to our actually let's open the throw one month it's not the yeah so we want to check if our uh, notify name is equal to the check so you want to set this so check and connect to here if our notify is check then what we want to do we want to continue here up here let's add a another branch let's connect this to here let's add a free route this and let's actually align it and let's move this even further like this so if we are on the notify check then we want to get player controller and we want to is input key down. Now we want to check the input key, throw little key. So if we are holding the uh, throw little key or not. Okay, let's connect this to here. And on the true, we don't have to do anything because we will add that code to here. I will explain soon. But on the false, what we want to do, we want to set the throw montage position. And we want to set it to 
is hold uh, spot uh, time. So 0.51. So let's set it to 0.51. Okay. Let's do so that I will explain this whole thing after we have done it because it's hard to explain now that when it's like not done completely. Okay. And after that, what we want to do, we want to get our hand smash again, and we want to play Mondich again, like this. And the Mondich will be the draw Mondich, of course. And here, we want to get our draw Mondich position to the starting position, like this. And then we want to create custom event. What we want to call release pro like this. Let's move it to here and connect it, it to here also like this. And the next thing what we want to do is we want to go a little bit back. we can actually create this code here on the start. So on the released, what we want to do here is simple as we want to... Actually, let's not do it yet. Let's go to here after the draw one montage where we have this check and this branch. Let's add another branch here from the false. Now we want to copy this equal node here and connect it to the notify name again. Now we want to check next if we are not on the check notify, then we want to check if we are on the hold notify. So hold and if we are there, let's add a branch from the true. We want to get this also to here. If you're on the hold and we have the hold key at a throw little key, we are holding it still. Then what we want to do, we want to get our hand smash and we want to get any instance. And from here we want to montage pause the true uh yeah from the true like this after that we want to create another variable and let's call this variable drawing and let's make it boolean here we want to set it to true and if we are not holding the key anymore we want to continue with this code like this. Okay. So now, if we are holding on the on here, we will set the drawing to true. Now we can go to the start to the released. And here, what we want to do, we want to check if we are drawing. So B and left click to get the branch from the released. Let's add a free row to make it a little bit cleaner. Now we want to check if we are throwing, like I told you, like this. And if we are, then we want to release throw. Release. Oh, what did I call it? Release underscore release. Throw. Hmm, why didn't I find it? So from the true, release throw, like this. Now, let's go back to the end. Let's create a code. Or actually, I can now explain you all quickly. So, we are first promoting the key to variable, because later on, if we make a system that we can map the keys to uh, another buttons, then we will have to do it this way. 
Then we will check if we are reloading or changing, and we will set it to true if we were not before. Then we will un ADS, lower the weapon, set the throw montage position to the uh, to the around this position, so we start uh, straight from the throw. And uh, we will set our weapon to invisib invisible. Then we want to start the throw montage, and we want to on the notify begin. We want to check if we are on the notify check. So if we are checking here, then we are what we are checking is if we have key down. If we don't have key downs, we will uh, straight away continue to the uh, straight away continue here to the. Uh, throw basically here we will call all the throw code this will be the final throw montage but yeah so if we have our key pressed here then we don't do anything and the montage will keep playing then we will go to the hold and here if we are under the hold then we want to check if it's still holding uh, like uh, pressed if it's not, we will continue here to the throw. If it is, we will post the montage on this uh, time, which is this 0 0.51, because we have this hold uh, notified there. And we will set the throwing to true. Then, when we released, we'll check if we are throwing where we should be. If we are on the, we have like, uh, we should be if we were holding until this. And yeah, after that it will release the throw, so it will skip all this code and straight away to here. So yeah, I hope you understand, <laughs> or maybe you won't, but yeah, it will work. Next we have to create the code, so on blend out here. What we want to do, we want to get our weapon mesh, and we want to set visibility back to true on blend out so from this after that we want to call the equip equip, equip like this and from there we want to call a little delay let's make it 0.25 then we want to set the uh, is reloading Changing, we want to set it to false and also the throwing to false. Okay, this delay is just here for so you cannot start throwing again on blend out, so it will basically wait to finish this. You can also remove this and call this on the on completed, but yeah, it will work this way also, but yeah. Then what we have to do, we have this last notify here, which is called spawn. Uh, we have to go here on notify begin. Let's add a branch. And let's get from the notify name equal. And we want to check if it's equal to spawn, which it should be. But let's leave this here just to be sure. And from here, what we have to do, we want to spawn actor from class. Let's put it here. Let's leave some space here. And from the true, well, let's select our pre nade actor. Let's compile so we get all the pins. Or actually, I think we got them before. But yeah. Then what we have to do, let's move this even further. We want to get our first person camera. We want to get world transform. We want to split it. We want to get the location. We want to add to it and move this even further. And now we want to actually connect. We have to split, uh, split this uh, spawn transform and connect this to the location. Let's actually move this all closer. Let's align it and move it closer. Okay, the location is
this. Okay, and now what we have to do also from here, let's move this backwards. Let's get a uh, forward vector. And let's multiply. Connect it to here. Let's change this pin to float single precision. Let's make this like 100. Let's align this. Actually, let's move this further like this. So we are getting our uh, location and 100 units in front of us. That will be our spawn location. Now for the transform, we can just get, uh, sorry, uh, for the rotation, we can just get this rotation. Let's add some reroutes to make it look a little bit better. Oh, like this. And the scale, it can be, it can be one on all. Collision handling override, always spawn ignore collisions. Damage, it can be the 1000 radius, it can be 500. Time, let's make it five. Impulse. Now for the impulse, what we have to do is, now we have this forward vector here. We have to also get from this and we want to multiply. Which this pin to float single precision. Let's make this 750, I think that's good. Now we want to add to that. And we want to get from the first person camera, once again, get up vector. So up vector like this and from here we want to actually i don't even know if i want to add anything but yeah let's add it here so you can adjust it however you want so multiply and let's connect this to the plus let's change this pin to load single precision and so you can add some up vector here, like 50, 100, you can try some values, but I will leave it to zero, but I just uh, added it here so you can make it work however you want. This will just add like a little bit upwards impulse to the grenade throw. Yeah, I don't need that actually. So let's connect this to the impulse. So now we are getting our forward 100 units from our, uh, actually, sorry, we are getting our forward vector multiplied by 750, and then we have added this up vector that we are I'm actually not using the impulse like that is there something else I think that was all so let's compile let's save all let's go to the level and let's play let's see how it works so let's press V okay the animation was not working Okay, what? That was not. Okay, the throw works. Let's see if the hold works. Yes, and I release. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with my animation. I think I have imported them with some rotation. I will have to check it quickly. You might not have this problem. So I actually re-imported it. I have I had set the rotation to minus ninety. So now it should work. So let's see again. So oh, when I just press the V, works like that. And when I hold it, you can see I'm holding it. Uh, when I release, it will work. I know the animation is not the most beautiful in the world, but yeah, I just created that and I'm not like very good with the animations. Or like, I can create some animation but animations, but they are not the best looking. I think I will later on create some more animations for you guys, guys, but yeah, for now, this will have to work. Or you can use your own animation. You will just have to set the notifies uh, according to that. So you can make it work with this system. But yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.